All right, I had some questions about my IEP documentation, Google Forms, and what that looked like. So I'm going to walk you through what that is um, and what those look like just really quickly here um, so that you can kind of get a better idea. This resource is on my Teachers Pay Teachers store, so if you're looking for more digital data collection forms, that's where you would go. Um, if you want some more help, there is a one-on-one -on -one call that you can set up with me um, and also a 15-minute training video that you can sign up for um, so that you can make your own digital data collection forms with ease. So that is there. All right, let's go through all of these. So the first one I have is a parent input form. I'm going to pull up the other one as well. Um, so it is in English and in Spanish. Um, so if you're looking for both to send digitally, um, you can do that. Uh, it collects their email, their child's name, three kids, three things their child does well uh, that they need help with, wish they knew, most important for them to learn this year when it comes to IEP goals, what's important, and then other thing you want me to know about your child's progress for this year. Um, so it kind of leaves it a little bit open-ended for them. Um, so again, it's the same in Spanish. I did have multiple people read through it to make sure it is correct. It is not my forte. So um, also the accommodations, if you have a general education teacher who's tracking accommodations, um, maybe there's multiple students, maybe it's only one student, you would just kind of put that in there. Um, and then what accommodation was used? Was there extended time? Did they have a note taker? What was the task? Was it a classwork? Was it an assignment? Was it a test? That kind of thing. I also realized test isn't in here, so I'm going to put test. Oh, no. I'm going to add test to it. So now everybody has tests um, so that we know. So if you're just tracking accommodation, that's what that's for. Um, discrete trial training. Again, looking at the discrete trials, duration of the student's goals. So this is if you have a student with IEP goals that has a duration. How long did this thing happen? Um, so that's what that is. Uh, student goals with frequency, the amount of times they were able to do something. How many times did they do that? So again, putting in your student's IEP goal for frequency, that's what you're looking at. Um, there is another one, percentage. So again, percent accuracy. A lot of our students have percent accuracy goals. This is where that would go. Um, and that's set up for you, just plug and chug. Uh, trials. So again, amount of trials that you're looking for. How many trials were they able to show that skill? Um, prompting support, I think is a good segue to kind of get to, um, how much support did they need? So this could again be their IEP goal that they're looking at. Is it a visual support, a ver verbal, a gestural, uh, how long did it take them to complete that task? Um, parent contact form, also another great one to look at. Um, so which parent did you contact? Uh, which student and which parent? Where, how were they contacted? How was it initiated? Uh, who promoted, who prompted the conversation, what was discussed, was the related service team notified, and if so, who? So that's another part in there. So if you're looking for a parent contact form, that's there. All right, the next ones I have are kind of fun. Um, it's just a little bit extra. I have a general education teacher input form. So again, give me a brief update of the student or of the classroom. How is the expectation different from their general education peers? Does the expectation compare to those? Um, is something they've done well to contribute to the class? Like, because we do want to talk about the positives. Um, have they completed their assignments? What can they, uh, the student improve on for this class? And anything else they want to say about the student? So super important. And then I also added a paraprofessional input. I think it's important to say, um, how have you worked with this student? What is the expectations of the student? What have they done well? What is something they can improve on? Um, paraprofessional input could be really helpful too. So. That is my IEP documentation, Google Forms, kind of a walkthrough, so you can see what that looks like. If you have any questions about that, you are welcome to comment below. I'll leave the link for this resource below so that you can get it as well.